I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will now consider reciprocal trigonometric ratio. Question here is cotangent x equals to minus 4 where x is between 0 to 360 degrees. Cot x, let me write down. Cot x is equals to minus 4. Cotangent is 1 over tan, right? So 1 over tan x is equals to minus 4, which I can write as tan x equals to minus 1 over 4, correct? Now, once you get your equation, which is tan x equals to minus 1 over 4, you can now figure out which quadrant you are looking forward for the solution. All are positive here, tan is positive here, right? In these quadrants, sine and cosine are positive. Negative value means you are expecting your solution in quadrant 2 or in quadrant 4, right? So, either both, both of them, right? So, now we will find acute angle, correct? So let us find acute angle first and then we will write down our answer. So we'll change the question. We'll write this as tan of alpha equals to 1 over 4, right? So alpha equals to tan inverse of 1 over 4. So let's use the calculator and we'll say second function, okay, shift tan inverse within brackets 1 divided by 4 bracket close equals to so we get here 14.0362, okay. So that is the value of alpha. It really means that acute angle is this much, 14 point, I think, yeah, okay, that's okay. So, so kind of small angle here. So this acute angle is 14 point, 14.036, okay. Now, what is the solution? The solution is, the two principal angles that which is so x value will be 180 degrees minus 14.0362 that is one solution and the other one will be quadrant 4 which is 360 degrees minus 14.0362 correct so let's find it out so one is 180 minus 14.0362 equals to, so one answer is 165.96, the other one is 360 minus 14.0362 equals to 345.96, right? So, so that is how we can get these answers. Remember also for tan and cotangent, time period is is pi or three, 180 degrees. So they are 180 degrees apart, right? So that's also a way of finding the answer quickly, right? I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.